Hey, what's up, guys? Ardo here, and I've got a game of some Ground War uh, Domination on the map Village, and I am using the MP7 here, which I just recently unlocked. Um, I haven't played Modern Warfare 3. Besides this past week, I haven't really been playing it a lot, but these past uh, past week or past couple days, at least, I've been trying to play it again. I don't know, I just get through phases of this game where I kind of get, get bored of it, so I'll stop playing it for a little while, and that kind of helps me uh, play it more, because this game does get frustrating at times, but it's still fun, and I see a lot of people who complain how bad it is. If I, I don't know, if I'm having a bad time with it, I'll just play something else or not play Xbox for a while because there's really no point in playing a game that frustrates you but um I just saw like the MP7 here so I was using that which uh I think I'm fourth prestige in this game and I saw since they're gonna add five new prestiges I think it's at the end of the month um I'm definitely gonna stay on my fourth prestige because I rarely play this game so there's no point I'm definitely to prestige I'm definitely not going to 15 I don't play this game enough I only have like three and a half days played but uh killstreak setup is the uh, 5912 and uh I think I have the uh, Pavlo on instead of the AC-130, which is kind of stupid, because this map is really good for the uh, AC-130, that and the Reaper, so I probably should have put that on, but like I said, I'm using the MP7 here, and I'm just running around most of the game, uh, and I've just been like rushing on stuff, I've been having fun playing this game lately, but uh, the one thing, I have the Akimbo FMG-9s as my secondary, which they're kind of cheap, but I don't know, I like using them, they, uh, they're really good for rushing, but... The one thing that's annoying, like, right when this game came out, I saw a lot of people running Stinger Missiles, but since the machine pistols are so powerful, you see more of those, which, uh, I don't know, it results in guys on your team not wanting to shoot down air support, which is always annoying, so, like, if I'm not on a kill streak, I'll switch to something that has a Stinger Missile and shoot it down, but if I'm on, like, a high kill streak, I'll just usually sit inside a building and wait for the uh, enemy air support to go away, because I don't really want to die on, like, a 7 or 8 kill streak when I'm trying to get something, but, um, what I wanted to talk about, I don't know if anyone knows who uh, Kurt Schilling is or not. He was a uh, pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. I think he retired in 2007 or 2008, but I don't know. I was like the Red Sox when I was younger because uh, I hated the Yankees. They always annoyed me. And the Pirates have always had a crappy team since I've uh, since I've been watching baseball. I don't think they want 500 in like 15 years. They uh, they always suck. They don't spend any money. But yeah, I was like the Red Sox growing up. So um, I don't know. I saw Kurt Schilling. If anyone doesn't know who he is, even though I think I just said it, so I don't know why I did that, but I don't want to retake this, but yeah, he was like one of the best pitchers ever for the Red Sox, uh, he won two World Series with them, and in 2004, he actually, they were down three games to none against the Yankees, and he actually had a thing where, uh, I think his tendon ruptured, or something something in his, te in his tendon in his foot, like, screwed up, so they actually tied it to the, to the bone and the ankle of his foot, and uh, I think it was game six when he was pitching, you could see his sock was just filled with blood, so this dude's uh, pretty hardcore and stuff, but I saw he was saying, uh, I saw some interviews with him, because he uh, created a game studio, um, I think it's called 38 Studio, or 38 Games, something like that, but he was talking about how he said, like, when he was on the road and stuff, he would, uh, I don't know, he would play, uh, play baseball and stuff, and then on his off days, because pitchers only pitch once every five days, you get five uh, starting pitchers that switch off in the rotation, so it doesn't kill their arm pitching every day. But he said he would play, like, World of Warcraft and stuff in his hotel, which is kind of funny to see, uh, I don't know, like, a major baseball player playing games like that. Um, I think it's cool that he was gaming and stuff, though. He said he would just do that so he could stay out of trouble and not drink and stuff. But um, he has a game studio out, and he has a new game out. It's called uh, Kingdom of Amalar, I think. It's called Reckoning. Kingdom of Amalar Reckoning, which... Uh, I watched some interviews on YouTube. I'll put a link in the info if anyone wants to check it out. It was a pretty good interview. I think it was done like by uh, GameSpot, but um, he was saying it's kind of a mix. To me, it looked like a uh, mix between Skyrim and then he said like Mortal Kombat and Tekken, which uh, I don't know. I, I think it would be pretty cool. There's a demo out on Xbox Live or probably on PSN too. I didn't download it yet, but um, I'll probably put a video up of the demo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy this game or not because uh, I'm gonna be buying MLB The Show 12 in like a couple weeks, and there's really no point in buying two games at the same time because they won't play them both. But what's everyone think of that? I think it's pretty cool to have like a pro professional baseball player, so especially somebody as good as him, uh, creating a game studio and doing all that stuff. I think it's kind of cool to see uh, more mainstream people branching out. And even if I don't like the game because I'm not really into like RPG games and stuff too much, but it'd be cool to see it be successful so he can putting out more and more games because uh and i think it's a cool story just to have like i said a pro baseball player making games and uh here i get the reaper i guess i'll go back to the gameplay here i get the reaper and i uh sped it up there i get the pavlo um uh, one more thing i really don't watch uh woody's gamer tag at all but i saw he was fighting with some dude obviously jesus they were gonna fight i guess they were trying to schedule like an mma fight or something which i don't know who this obviously jesus dude is he was just trolling woody and i guess it worked because i got people to watch his videos i got me to watch his video but I don't know, he looks like he's like 16 years old, and he was saying he can beat up Woody, which, uh, Woody's videos are pretty annoying, he just, like, caters to, like, younger kids and stuff, and, uh, just, 
I don't know, he just makes stupid videos, I don't really like his, but, um, he, uh, is definitely bigger than this dude, so I don't know why this dude definitely backed out of the fight, and he looked like a little bitch, but, um, I don't know what I was on about this. Oh, that kid looked like he was 16, there's no way in hell he could beat up Woody, but, um, yeah, they canceled that, so I wouldn't even have thought that would happen anyway, then I, but, um, yeah, that obviously Jesus guy, I watched, uh, I think two of his videos, and they were just horrible, I don't know why people are subscribed to him, his videos are really crappy, and... I guess he did this to only use me blade and stuff. He would just try to troll bigger YouTubers. So, uh, Woody was dumb enough to respond. So he just gave this guy a bunch of free publicity. But, um, yeah, here I picked up some guys, uh, MK14, and I was using that. I was, uh, we have the other team triple capped here. So I was just kind of sitting at the A flag because I saw they kept spawning inside the cave. So there was really no point in going out and dying. I was trying to build a kill streak up here. Get the, uh, get the Predator missile there, which, uh, and I love running the uh, 5912 kill streak on this map. Like I said, I probably should have put the AC130 on, but uh, this kill streak's really good for this map. Sometimes I'll put the airstrike on too, just because it's uh, really good in ground war, which. Um, I don't know. The one thing about this game, I had to burp there, that's why it was a weird sound. I'm using a different mic. I don't know. Hopefully this one picks up better. I'm using the. Uh, my older headset. I think it's a PX21 for the PS3, which I just recently found. Um. What was it saying? I don't know. Oh, there's a new map out for uh, Elite guys, too. I think it's called uh, Skyscraper or something. It kind of looks like a high-rise from Modern Warfare 2. It looks pretty cool, which, uh, the one thing about Elite, if they would have probably made, like, a map pack where it would be five or six maps coming out at once, I might have bought it, but, I don't know, this one and two month map maps every month is kind of stupid. That's why, uh, I didn't subscribe to it that, and the game's kind of broken, but, um, I don't know, what's everyone think? I don't know if anyone downloaded the map. Is it good or not yet? It definitely looks fun. It looks like High Rise. I saw the uh, the last two maps. One of them looked real cool. It was like a real uh, close quarter map. And the other one just looked really big and annoying. They said one of them was like a sniper map. It was way too big. But, um, I don't know, that map kind of looked cool. Hopefully they won't do Elite for uh, Black Ops 2. Hopefully they just go back to selling map packs or something. Or if they do Elite, they should probably uh, add some features. Because the... Uh, like leaderboards and all that stuff, how you can see your stats. They had all that in Black Ops anyway, so I don't know why. Whether well, they're charging guys 50 bucks for it now, but um, I guess I'll go back to the gameplay because I'm kind of running out of stuff to talk about here. Um, this game I was actually lucky. I get good teammates because they're just playing with random people. Um, I think I was like listening to the music and stuff on this too. Usually when people play Call of Duty, they have their headset on and they don't like play music through their Xbox or anything. But I don't know, I'm just having fun like rushing around and playing this. I haven't been taking this game too seriously lately, and um. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get put on a good team, because usually when I play, uh, play Ground War, play Domination, I get a bunch of guys in my team who want to play TDM instead of go after the objective, which is always, uh, always annoying, and TDM in this game, I don't know, I love TDM in, like, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, but it seems very, very slow-paced in this game, I don't know if it's Assassin or if it's just more people camp now, but TDM games in, uh, Modern Warfare 3, they seem to take, like, 9 and 10 minutes a game, so, I don't know, I'd just rather play Ground War, because those games... We're about the same length, and they're a lot more fun, because it's 9v9, which, uh, one thing I think would be cool, I, I really dig Kill Confirmed, I think it would be cool if they made a, uh, playlist, which is just 9v9, like a dedicated Kill Confirmed playlist, I think that would be, uh, pretty fun, because 6v6 is kind of slow-paced on some of the maps, some of the maps it works for, but, like, Hard Hat it really works well with, but, I don't know, like, Resistance and stuff, I think those maps are way too big for 6v6, it's kind of... Kind of annoying, but here we go. The gameplay is over. Final score was 200 to 123, and I got, uh, final score was, uh, what was it? 58 and 10. I got some more videos I'll be putting out. I got a bunch of close, uh, close domination games and stuff like that with me just rushing around. So, uh, that's it, guys. Um, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed the video, um, subscribe, I guess. So, uh, I'll put an annotation to my channel if anyone wants to check it out. And that's it. Peace.